Tom uh, Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Greg Beck from Tucker Rocky Distributing. This week we want to talk about motorcycle footwear. Now, really, in the grand scheme of things, anything is better than nothing. True, true. Back in the old days, lineman's boots is what people bought. They were they were tall, about like this, and you would lace them up. Total pain in the butt to put on. But that's what we had. Look at motorcycle riders across the world. Footwear is absolutely incredible. When you think of your feet and what they do for you. Without a foot, life is pretty tough. But we're willing to jump on motorcycles in just about anything. I've seen people ride around in flip-flops, low-top tennis shoes. I've seen all kinds of different riding footwear. After you've seen somebody's ankle get ground down by not having the right protection, you, you, you kind of have a rethink because the, the ankle bone is, is uh, with all its articulation, and it's pretty sensitive. I mean, whack yourself on the ankle bone, you'll find out. Uh, Man, I want the best I can get. As far as motorcycle boots go, you're going to find a common denominator in most of them. They're going to have increased toe protection, increased ankle protection, and definitely some sort of non-skid oil-resistant sole. And possibly some form of extra retention to keep the boot on in the advent of a serious crash. That's exactly correct. So here's a normal hiking type boot. Um, as you can see, it laces up and there's really nothing to really keep you inside this boot. But if we were to look at a motorcycle specific boot that's almost the same as far as height and ankle protection goes, you're gonna notice on this particular boot that there's a buckle that goes across the top of your foot, making sure that your ankle is locked into this boot and it's not gonna come off in the case of an accident. One of the highest forms of protection is a, is a two-piece boot. Not really practical for street use. It has a carbon fiber insert, a booty that first you put on, lace it up, and then put it into the boot, and then zip it up and buckle it up. Pain in the butt, but when I go to the racetrack, that's what I'm wearing because sometimes the speeds are pretty serious and I want the best protection I can get. On the street, I go to a simpler boot. This also is waterproof. It has good protection, zips up for good retention. That's my choice. Here awesome. on the table are a couple of the different boots that I've worn over the years. Back before I really knew about motorcycle specific boots, cowboy boots and work type boots were the boots that I usually wore. Now if you notice that in most of the cowboy work type boots, the ankle support it really isn't there. You've got leather protection, great toe protection, great anti-skid, but the ankle is really a problem. Now while on the topic of soles, lots and lots of cowboy boots have a leather sole. Now if this leather sole gets wet, it's almost like standing on ice. So back in high school, I had these boots resold with a Vibram sole. You've got a really good quality boot that you love and enjoy, but it has some of those characteristics or flaw, flaws, I guess you would, if it was going to be a motorcycle boot. You can have that fixed by a local shoe repair or cobbler. Example, this boot, when I first purchased it, seemed like it fit pretty good. I walked around in them, uh, the toe room was good, everything was good, but after the first ride, I noticed on each foot in here, I had blisters. So what I did, I went home and I crammed a whole bunch of newspaper in here. Then I took a heat gun and carefully heated the area because there's plastic right here and changed the shape of the boot. Now I can wear these all day. Proper fitment is probably the most important thing when looking at a boot that you're going to wear on the motorcycle because you absolutely do not want that boot to fly off when impact happens. Yeah, and if it's not comfortable and you don't wear it and you wear something inferior and your foot gets damaged, how smart is that? Uh, on another note, Kyle and I like to do adventure rides, and uh, you can probably use any of these boots, except that sometimes we, we get off-road, so we choose a, more of a motocross type, because, as you can see, the, the uh, protection is, is much greater. Well, talking about the motocross or adventure type boot, technology is an absolutely amazing thing. Back in the early 20s, when Greg was racing motocross, <laughs> <laughs> using that boot there on the end of the table, they were just a really stiff leather, and that was what ankle support consisted of. But this boot here from TCX, you can see these pieces right here allow flexion, so you have a lot more movement with this boot, but there's actual stoppers. This protects your ankle from being overextended or compressed by blocking it with these stoppers. Now these are the boots that I was wearing when I got into my accident in Colorado two years ago. If I wouldn't have been wearing these boots, I would have had a seriously crushed and mangled ankle. Instead, a minor break on a toe. Another thing that's really neat about motorcycle specific shoes is the fact that you can get mesh inserts. So this particular boot is a waterproof boot that has mesh so you get airflow so your feet don't get overheated. Cool. Retention, fit, right boot for the right job, comfort, all those things are important. 
Absolutely. Well, Greg, I think that about covers us when it comes to motorcycle fitwear. Most importantly, choose a boot that you're going to want to wear because if you don't, you'll regret it. It's true. Thanks for being with us again. WWG 13.